Tetra Aviation MK5. Tetra Aviation's new MK5 EVTOL aircraft could be a reality as soon as 2022. Tetra Aviation's new MK5 personal EVTOL vehicle has begun flight testing in California, having recently secured a special airworthiness certificate from the FAA. Tetra hopes to begin delivering the aircraft to customers by the end of 2022 and has shared a video of its test flights. It boasts a top speed of 100 miles per hour and a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery promises up to 100 miles on a single charge. Inside the cockpit, a joystick with fly-by-wire electrical controls ensures easy piloting for both amateurs and professionals. The aircraft features 16 pairs of electric motors installed on nacelles across a pair of wings, with each nacelle having a small vertical lift propeller. To support cruise flight, there is also a push propeller at the rear of the fuselage. Attached to the aircraft's rear is a cruise prop enabling the MK5 to fly at up to 100 miles per hour. The lightweight electric aircraft is designed for single-person use and is crafted from a combination of aluminum and carbon fiber reinforced polymers, with the prototype measuring 28 feet wide, 20 feet long, and 1,000 pounds. A total of 32 horizontal rotors across four wings lift the plane, while a vertical prop in the rear propels it forward. Lazzarini FT-1 Lazzarini has moved from seafaring creations like the rocket-inspired F-33 Spezzale yacht to the skies with a crazy new drone concept that harks to 1950s-era Ferrari race cars. The FT-1 is just the latest daring design from Lazzarini, which is also dipped into the world of architecture in the form of a floating pyramid complex dubbed Wayland. While that and the FT-1 are admittedly pretty out there, the company's Royal Jet Capsule compact yacht has actually been built. Measuring 20 feet in length and weighing 1,984 pounds, the FT1's carbon fiber really does look like a futuristic take on Ferrari's nearly 70-year-old racers. While the wheels have been done away with and replaced with three propellers, the rest of the design stays true to its ancestor, including the cockpit, exhaust pipes, and racing stripe. The FT1 comes with three pairs of coaxial electrical propellers powered by that V12 engine juicing three separate battery packs. Lazzarini claims that the entire vehicle is 7.3 meters long, weighs under 1,000 kilograms, technically it currently weighs nothing as it's hard to put your imagination on a set of scales, and could have a top speed of 499 kilometers per hour. The FD1's tech appears to be just as intriguing as its design. Though details are scant right now, Lazzarini says the craft's V12 engine will help power its six electric engines thanks to a belt system that connects the entire system. The firm believes the flying car will be able to reach speeds of 310 miles per hour and fly for three hours at a time. Aeromobile 4.0 Aeromobile has positioned the 4.0 uniquely as a cross between a sports car and a very light aircraft, weighing 960 kilograms at its heaviest. The Aeromobile 4.0 flying car was introduced at the International Paris Air Show held at Paris Le Bourget Airport in June 2017. It has what you would consider conventional wheels that are incredibly light and strong enough to handle landings at airports. The car is being designed and manufactured by Aeromobile. The Aeromobile 4.0, created by Slovakian company Aeromobile, is probably what you would draw if someone asked you what a flying car looks like. When in car mode, the wings store neatly along the fuselage and open up when you want to take up to the skies. Eula Cardinal, Aeromobile's head of airworthiness, told Helicopter Investor this January, when designing Aeromobile 4.0, we gave careful consideration to the regulatory framework and felt it was critically important that our flying car could work within existing regulatory frameworks rather than be entirely disruptive. The Aeromobile 4.0 cuts travel time compared to a traditional airline and will also enable users to travel distances up to 1,000 kilometers more efficiently. The interior isn't too dissimilar to cars on the road today, with screens that display road information when in car mode and switch to flight info when you take off. PAL v Liberty PAL v Liberty Aerospace Company is nearing the completion of their flying car project, the Liberty, and they are so close in fact that they intend to take pre-orders. Netherlands-based company PAL v, personal air land vehicle, has officially unveiled what's dubbed as the world's first flying car. The PAL v Liberty is capable of seating two people, has 100 horsepower and a top speed of 100 miles per hour, and is currently available in two iterations. 
This vehicle provides unprecedented flexibility since it can theoretically take off from any runway. On the road, it can travel up to 160 kilometers per hour and has a range of over 1300 kilometers. In the air, its cruising speed can also reach 160 kilometers per hour with flight times reaching an estimated four to five hours. Named Liberty, Pal-V's design was first shown at the Goodwood Festival of Speed 2021 on July 8th to thousands of car and automotive enthusiasts. The Pal-V Liberty is the same size as your average car, so aims to not look out of place on the roads. Pal-V says if you're flying and you encounter bad weather, you can land, drive to somewhere safer, and take off again. It can transform from car to gyroplane at the press of a button allowing you to take off to the skies in no time at all. The vehicle is now approved for road use in Europe and will soon be approved in the United States and Australia. It is also undergoing aeronautical certification by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency EASA. Note that the relevant gyrocopter pilot's license will be required to fly the vehicle. PLV hasn't said when the Liberty will go on sale, but you can order the Pioneer Edition, of which only 90 will be made, for €499,000. A standard sport version will be available at a later date for €299,000. Lilium One company already considered a leader in the UAM travel industry is German electric aircraft developer Lilium. Lilium is the world's first fully electric VTOL vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Lilium's eVTOL is vastly different from anything else in the air taxi world, using 36 small ducted fans in place of larger open rotors. It can transport up to seven passengers, but rather than you being able to own one, it'll be used as an air taxi where you can pay per ride. It also means it won't actually drive on the road, but instead replace conventional taxis. The proprietary technology at the core of the Lilium jet is ducted electric vectored thrust. DEVT, which has been refined through successive generations of technology demonstrators. Electric jet engines integrated into the wing flaps provide advantages in payload, aerodynamic efficiency, and a lower noise profile, whilst also providing thrust vector control to maneuver the Lilium jet through every phase of flight. Lilium also says they'll be able to make these aircraft much easier to scale up to 15 seats and beyond without losing the ability to land on standard helipads. Lilium's Florida Air Mobility Network is in partnership with the multinational infrastructure operator Ferroveal, which is set to build a hub in Orlando for an inner-city transportation network in the heart of tourism for the Sunshine State. The cabin is designed for your comfort above all, without compromising performance. Lilium says you'll be able to use its jet to get from London to Paris in an hour or Manhattan, New York to JFK Airport in just five minutes instead of a 55-minute taxi ride. Prices are said to be affordable too, with that latter journey costing around $36. The company recently got a cash injection of around $830 million, so we're expecting to see more about this in the near future. Airbus Pop-Up The pop-up concept is the result of Ital Design and Airbus working together on how to discuss the mobility challenges our societies face. The Airbus Pop-Up is a taxi service with a difference. Passengers will be able to book a pop-up cab via an app and depending on user knowledge, destination, traffic congestion and other factors will be sent either a car or a flying vehicle to pick them up. However, if you're in a car on the road and congestion increases, you can request a flying module to come and pick you up. The capsule you sit in can disconnect from the road module and you're lifted away and onto your destination. When passengers reach their destination, the ground and air modules automatically return to the nearest charging station to await the next booking. 60 kilowatts should be enough for the flight part for a 75 mile per hour wingless route of 37 miles. Charge time is estimated at 15 minutes, which means the aircraft can quickly be ready for takeoff again. There isn't a substantial difference from a design viewpoint between the original pop-up and 2018's pop-up next. Audi's participation is new, however, with the automaker bringing its autonomous vehicle and battery expertise to the party while also working with Airbus to design the cabin's interior. That includes a 49-inch touchscreen that incorporates eye tracking and speech and facial recognition, along with redesigned seats that use a mix of aluminum framing and ultralight meshing to keep weight low. Artificial intelligence AI, takes care of managing trips, freeing passengers to interact and choose from a multimodal transportation system, or relax and enjoy the journey in this self-piloted autonomous system 
that can ride on the ground or fly in the air.